I don't know why I'm smiling, actually. Um, okay. Um, I had an experience today that I know for a fact that I'm not alone in. I wanted to go today and buy myself a new pair of jeans. Even the thought of getting a new pair of jeans fills me with dread. Um, it's been bad. It used to be easier to buy jeans, but now, you know, I've gained some weight and my shape has changed since the menopause. I just find it really hard to, um, to find jeans. Um, so I went to the shop today and actually, as I was, I could feel my mood changing. As I went into the shop, started looking at clothes, all the summer stuff was around. All the bikinis were out and all that kind of stuff. And um, I could feel anxiety rising in me because I'm heavier than I want to be. And all that crap started, that conversation started in my head about you're too fat, you're not good enough, you can't buy that, all this chit chat, chit chat, all going on. And it was just, oh, it just filled me with dread. So anyway, I, I'm, you know, I went through the motions and I picked up a pair of jeans and a pair of boyfriend jeans, a pair of skinny jeans. And I thought, I'd look at dresses and maybe some shorts for holiday. And I, um, oh, I'm just thinking about that. So I took it all into the changing room. And it's just, what is it about the lights in changing rooms? It was just awful. And I stood there and I just, you know, I felt like, I felt like a piece of shit. And it's ridiculous because part of my message is to embrace ourselves no matter what size we are, to love who we are, you know? But I'm still on that journey and some days I, it just doesn't work for me. And I fall into those old patterns. So the skinny jeans I tried and I went, no, what am I doing? I've got a bloody wardrobe full of skinny jeans that <laughs> when I lose weight, I'll fit, fit into. That's so funny. Um, but I did buy a really nice pair of boyfriend jeans, which I'm really happy with. They're really nice. They cover everything. But I can't wear them on the beach, can I? The shorts I tried on just looked awful. Just horrible. And it's just that, for me, it was that whole... Uh, shame, feeling less than, all because of how I perceive I look and what size I am. And what is that about? What is it about? I don't know. But all I know is I'm prepared to, to think differently and try and change the way I react to those situations. So this is why I'm sharing it on a video because I know I'm not alone. I had a client the other day say to me, oh, you know, can, we, can I do something? Honestly, my client's like that. And she's like, oh, oh can you do something? I went, in the, um, I went in the changing rooms and I could see all the cellulite on my belly. And I just, can we just do some lots of core stuff to get rid of that? You know, and half of me gets it, the smaller half, and then there's that other, and then I went, but it doesn't really work like that, does it? So I just wanted to share really that I you know I'm on this kind of journey about my change in shape and getting older and the changes to my body and and accepting and not just accepting them actually embracing the changes as i'm saying this i've got that little little me on my shoulder going that's bullshit you want to be the size 12 you were a few years ago it's so hard it's so hard but I'm determined to um, to continue this journey of self-acceptance and self-love because I can still love myself today no matter what even if I do want to go to the gym and and get fitter and all that stuff you know I can still love and accept myself most days but it is a process <sighs>